Hey, greetings. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I cry by. Welcome to living my best life in Ghana. Yes. I hope everybody is doing great today. I had a very productive day today in Power and I. And we're just happy to be African. Happy African Day to you. Happy African Day to us. It's beautiful. It's a great thing understanding or overstanding the power that we have when we realize who we are. And I'm just so thankful that many of us have turned over a new leaf and we are a new African. We realize that we are the same people globally, globally, yes. So it's important for us to make the necessary connections, to network, to integrate into our motherland wholeheartedly, arms wide open on both sides, on all sides, so that we can be the best African that we can be and we can help uplift and may Africa rise up never to be in this place ever again, never to be without again, never to be underdeveloped again, never to be invaded again, never to be colonized again, never to be enslaved again. We are not going to do that ever again. And we realize in some places right now that it's still going on. We got a lot of hypocrites, a lot of hypocrites that's lying like they are in solidarity with us, but they really are not. We know that there is slavery that still exists in different parts of the world, mainly in the European countries and where the non-African uh, people are. In some African countries, where the Europeans or the invaders have taken over, they are still enslaving our people and we wanna stop to it right now. So all of this that's pouring over, we have to understand that this is a people's protractive affair and it's never going to stop. It's not going to die down. It can only go greater from here. We are leveling up. We understand what our issues are. We understand that the underlying remedy and solution, a resolution, revolution, is for African people to come together no matter where we are and unify and solve these problems that we have been having for decades, hundreds of years, centuries, and so on and so forth. Uh-oh, Harold would like to self out, so I have to go and let him in. Hold on, y'all. Ah. See that? This popped about me last night. Here you go. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So here I am back, y'all. What's up, family, though? What's up with y'all? Y'all coming on tonight? Anybody feeling that? Coming on tonight? Say hello. Elia Ben Israel. Aquaba. Welcome, family. What's up with y'all? Yes, had a good workout today, Power and I. We went to work. We going <laughs> getting the strength up, getting the powers up all the way round. You know what I'm saying? Yes, welcome, welcome, family. Blessings. Be mo, be mo. We are rising up. Smiko, good night my family good vibes good vibes good vibes what's up welcome 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 aqua bye start by liking y'all come on in and put them thumbs up thank you smiko hi what's up dwight what you got to say <laughs> dwight you gonna shout out uh, all the areas of uh uh South Memphis and with DJ Paul and Juicy J. Come on with it. I'm ready for you. Hey. Hey, sis. What's up? I tried to call you today. What's up, family? Smeekle. 
That blouse is lit. Okay. I'm, I'm representing today. Legalize it. It's been legalized. And oh, greetings, family. I'm here with my cocktail. Sherry, you on point then. These cocktails, boy. What's up in that joint? What you got up in there? Huh? All right. It's been, man. It's been raining here all day. What's today? It is Tuesday, June 23rd. This month, this year is really moving fast. Everybody, you can see that this year is not playing with us. What a mind-blowing year this has been. I think it's almost like we've been on the set of a movie like... Um, X-Men or something. I don't know. It's crazy. Future. The blouse and the earrings are too cute. You got to coordinate. What? Yes, sister. Thank you. Medasse. Medasse pie. Earrings are fly. Thank you, Dwight. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know, I got to represent for my people. What's up, Rashawn? Hello. My brother Ernest out there on that road, ain't I? I know he out there getting red wine night tonight. What? What is y'all up to? You was asleep? Girl, I thought you was at work. You was, okay, you probably already work now on the way, huh? Because I showed college. Okay. I knew it was some passion fruit nectar and Prosecco. What is that? Oh, I ain't had no drinks in so long. All I drink is appetition every now and again and a little. I, I, ain't, I don't even know. Man, that's been a while. Black Power, what's happening, family? New subscriber. Oh, Y'all, we got somebody new on the family tip. Y'all say hey to Black Power. Welcome him home. We are glad to have Black Power represent in the chat outside of <coughs> Power himself. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. The white, what you got in your cup, Sherry say. Malika, a quab of my black family. Looking gorgeous, auntie. Well, thank you, my Thank you so much, love. I appreciate it. I represent black folks every day, whenever I wake. It's all about us. Man, I cherish being this, able to just wear my Africanness and just feel good and, and, and push that power out into the atmosphere wherever I go. Ain't nobody got a doubt in my mind that I love being African. <laughs> now, I ain't going to be wondering if she's trying to cross over or nothing. You ain't got to never wonder about that when it comes to me. <laughs> Baby, uh, everything all day, every day is African for me. Yes. Hey, beautiful people. I'm here for the good info and energy. Hey, Troy. T-Roy in the house. Power is on the way. I see all his. Okay, Prosecco is a sparkling wine. Okay, I'm learning something about this. So, oh, I ain't never seen that on, on myself, but good to know. I'm an elder female. Well, gone, sister. Black Power is an elder female. <laughs> <laughs> Gone with that balance, auntie. See, I got me a new auntie in the house. Yes, come on with it. Love it. Hey, family, shall me in the house. What's up, love? Welcome all my beautiful nieces and nephews, sisters and brothers, aunties, uncles, all our extended family. We finding ourselves, and guess what? We're going to find our long lost cousins when we get to Africa, too. Okay? How about that? It's 
So I said, welcome, Black Power. Go on, Sai. Greetings at Malika's. Hey, sister. Molo Queen in the house. Sister, did you get your thing thing? Yeah. T-Roy, we got the white. Malika saying, hey, the Sherry. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So we are just elated to be here this evening. Some places morning. I know it's morning in in uh, in Ghana. I just got off the phone with um uh, our godson, and he was just woke up out of his sleep. And the ancestors woke him up, and he's wide awake. So he should be coming out here. Motherland ancestors is him. I'm at work, Auntie L O L and, and Sherry. Okay. Modo Queen, Sai, everybody in the house. We got new family here. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up to make sure we keep ourselves looking. You know how this stuff go. We already look good though, you know. <laughs> but you know, we just want to participate. So everybody make sure y'all participating. Okay. So we're talking about the different cost of things and things you more likely need to ship when repatriating to Ghana, okay? Now, I can't say, hey, unexposed experiences in the house. Oh, what's up with you? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So... Um, I can truly say how things have really grown in Ghana for the 13 plus years we've been living in Ghana. I take a little bit of water one out. Thank you, baby. Yes, it has really changed for the better. Um. Let me give you a little history. Uh, over 13 years ago, when we first got to Ghana, um, TV went off. There was internet cafes. There wasn't any internet on the phones. Um, there was just the little handheld phones when we first got there. Internet cafes was the thing in Ghana. Oh, boy. Huh? That was just right. Well, wasn't it? Shit. That was like, you going to get out in the daytime and you go into an internet cafe or at night. And you're going to experience sitting around people that's talking to people on the internet. As well as, you know, you talking to your own folks. Y'all say, hey, the power in the house. You're going to be saying, you know, you're going to be <coughs> speaking to people, having fun, meeting folks. Uh, somebody going to have some videos off YouTube with some new African songs or something like this. Some new African artists It's going to be playing in the Internet Cafe. So people going to be dancing and talking to folks online and all that kind of stuff. It was really, really cool. That time was like precious Ghana. <laughs> it was really precious. It was um it was it was very conservative. What what we at? You trying to see what we at? Okay, I see. Hey. Yeah, and it was just a lot of things going on. What's, what's up with those burglars? <laughs> <laughs> Burg oh, so then, what's up, Nisa Poo? What's up with you? <laughs> Moto, Moto Queen. Queen. What it is? <laughs> yes. And so, uh, Shone. things were uh, really quiet at night in Ghana. Very quiet. 
Uh, when it's time to go to bed, yeah, everybody going to is sleep. going to sleep in Ghana. It was like what when we was uh in the seventies or something like that. Shit, in the eighties, eighties too. You bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It was very quiet at night when people lay down at night. It was very quiet. It was just like that for us in the eighties. Like it was when we first started going to go. What? What the hell that joy, man? T Roy be killing me, man. <laughs> Pop said, You grooving tonight, man. LOS stepped in like you walked in the club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been sashaying around this other day, Troy, man. You know he what I'm talking about? He's got his shirt on. He's a little sick. <laughs> and I've been watching him, too. They have real close. I'm like, what you think you up to? Oh, you get right out here. <laughs> Got his little shirt on out here, <laughs> looking fly. I said, "Uh, uh-uh. uh, I got my eye oh, on you." You had a dog out on your boy Troy all day, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Y'all, y'all don't know what that is. That's a double club. One side is for soul, old school, and the other side is for like a mixture and up to date music. It's and a man black on got a spot. liquor store right, right in the middle, in the of, middle both of, of both clubs. Attached to both clubs. Yep. And he on it all. Hey, yo, Lay. Yo. I got to see you like check a little bit. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but uh, also uh, when we first got to Ghana, we saw how the uh, media, it was still government owned. Everything was owned by the media. What's you talking about? By, by the government, like phone companies, stuff like that. When, oh, when we, we first, first got, got to there? Ghana. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that shit was TV, after everything. Everything the TV uh shows you watch, it was mostly all gonna 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 what they call it, baby? Gollywood. Yeah, Gollywood. It they was be, so they be tripping me out how the country had it like they be trying to compare their movie situations to like Hollywood. I'm like, man, Nollywood, Gollywood. Hollywood. It was uh, mostly that was just like the most things that was on TV at that time. It's all it was drama, all Ghana all soap operas. All dramas. <laughs> And this one lady, I can't think of her name, but when she was slapping shit at you, boy, if she, if, if she in the movie, she is going to slap slob out of somebody's mouth, whoever's close to it. It's like, in her country, it just seemed like, am I slapping somebody in this movie? They always have a slapping somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. 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 Sign that was my my eighties some years back. I used to go back cooking. I Supreme. like that uh Sherry, <laughs> what Sherry said to uh she said in Sierra Leone, Tanzania, my second or third choice. I'll go to one of those countries until I can get to Ghana. I have to get out. Yeah, look, if you got some hookups in Tanzania, Bollywood. let me know. I've been trying to get east for a long time. Uh-huh. Bollywood. Yeah, they, they be funny as heck. Oh, oh man. On his foes. They got they got this one little dude. He look like a kid, but he grown. And it's two of them. They, are they twins or they just look alike? They just got the same stature. Two little dudes. I think they was twins. Though. Man, them little dudes so funny. They, I, you don't understand half what they saying, but they just funny. It's just it, it catches. What? Don't play no game. I had one too. I, I had a Bully Supreme in the eighties. It was a Man. baby blue color. Had the white leather interior. It was Power Wonders. And I had a sunroof, and I put a system in that joint. The color supreme. Oh! Like mess around, be too comfortable. You go to sleep in the bucket. See, you be. Yeah, there was some good seats back crush then. Crush bearing seats in them joint. They don't mm, make cars mm, like mm. that no more. Yes. What was I talking about, though? I want to go back to it. But yeah, so yeah, so uh, on on TV back then, 
It was just all gonna everything. It was no Europeans on TV whatsoever at all. So um, I just want to talk about a little bit of the old Ghana that we remember when we first got there and what it's looking like now. Turn it up to 2020, 2019. Circle. Oh, yeah, let's go. Circle. Let's talk Jumping about off circle. In there. You brought it up now. We got to go, go straight ahead. to circle. Go to circle, baby. Yeah, let me tell you about circle. So circle is an area in the middle of the city. So you can go to dance on one. Say, if I'm standing right in the middle of in Kwame and Krumah Circle is the name of it. If I'm standing right in the middle of Kwame and Krumah Circle, to my left, I can go to dance on one. To my left, I can go down to the, the next roundabout, go north, go straight to uh to dance on one. All right? If and I go to the- on your way on now to Yeah, Cape going Coast. to Cape Coast. So going that way. So if I go to my right, standing in- uh in a circle i'm going to pass uh nema first and i'm going to osu and all that area so if i'm go north if I'm straight ahead we pass through uh through circle i'm going through uh what is it when we used to go get the uh the cry, the, the great greater cry, cry. Mm-hmm. greater cry i mean that's circle. like what well, we was considered downtown. Yeah, circle Greater was like cry is like okay. Everybody, anybody that's in California, circle is like the alley, but a whole area up under the up under like it was like a bridge and like little little cuts where everybody selling everything. Radios, hey Rocket, irons, t-shirts, hey TVs, Marie, greetings, uh, laptops, phones, chargers, t-shirts, socks, oh. you name it. Everybody selling it in circle, and circle is moving. Circle is like okay, like say for instance, downtown Manhattan early during the day, our people out moving. Circle is like that all day long, almost twenty four hours a day. Would be circle closed? Mm-hmm. Yeah, circle is like you can get it by the baby. Need something? I'm run, I got to run the circle. Yeah, circle, circle is circle like uh, the part of New York that never sleeps. That's like that part of the area that people are always traveling, going somewhere. It's always some some movement going on right the major bus station is there like the vvip bus that's the bus that could take you from accra to kumasi you can say to, nothing about kanisha too if you leave Kwame Krum's yeah circle. i forgot about that really so you get to kanisha first before you, you get to, to uh dance summit. Summit. Mm-hmm. yeah you got to pass through kanisha market that's another major spot kanisha market you get absolutely anything that you want sherry said i have no hookup and telling me i'm just considered going because it's open and it's supposedly very inexpensive oh uh, okay uh-huh. okay my happy hey up, my man? people welcome back troy in what dog cut dog future LOL. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> cut dog what are you trying to call it the cut dog yeah the cut dog i had me one of them jumps i right. love that joint i did but yeah circle y'all so circle used to be just like coming and going traffic like four lanes on this side four lanes on the side going and coming just speed just stuff going on Keith Timbers, welcome, Aquaba. Keith, what's up? That that's summer when... has a lot of airway people there, but it's been a while. Yeah, yes, that that's, summer tree that's, that's real yeah, nice. We when we first went there, man, look, mm-hmm. the people in that summer tree that's like we was right there in the neighborhood. Yes, really. Fleet Market. <laughs> Greetings, family. Love and life. Thanks for sharing your story. For you sure. are so welcome. Anytime. We always here. That's what we going to do. Good evening, fam. Watching from work. LOL. Yeah. Malcolm Xavier. And look, she was talking about the internet cafes earlier. So right here in Circle, when you pass out of Circle going through toward, uh, say, Nima Way, going toward Nima and uh, Osu, it used to be the spot on the left called Busy Internet. When I'm talking about this zone was like a little club popping. I mean, folks is getting dropped off, going to busy, and they had a little bar, you get something to eat, little snacks and whatnot, get your little food, and go up in the internet and get on the internet and do your things. Like this, like was it first year? Yeah, first, second, first and second, Third. first, yeah, that first was a few cool years. Few years, yeah. But man, it was all the time. I mean, all the young folks would come there and kick it. You know, older folks, business, being that'd be like the little meeting yeah, area for the, the youth, re- yeah. They come and kick it over there. Oh, they used to be so loud. You know what I'm saying? You know, okay. 
And then another thing, clubs is not really restricted. All, all, most of the outside drinking spots and clubs and stuff, they have the youth around, but they're not indulging. But it's like it's not it's not unnormal for youth to be around little spots where everybody are, you know, like grown folks are right. kicking it. The drinking holes you know, they'll be like standing that. around or whatever, but they won't be drinking. indulging in alcohol and stuff like that. That's illegal. So um, it's like a lot of things. Okay, so say, man, we're going to start talking about the different cost of things <laughs> and things you more likely need to ship when you repatriate the gun. And I just thought about the drinking spots is what we would call the little hole in the walls yeah, or stuff like hole that. hole in the wall. But they'll be more on the outside. They won't be in the wall. They'll be outside, outside the spots. Wall. <laughs> the hole outside the wall. <laughs> So basically, beer. Just say, for instance, Ghana beer. The price of Ghana beer compared to the price of the Man, beer that we look, pay for here. I put it to you like this. If you take about $4 US dollars and exchange in the cities and drink beer, you're going to be blasted. Lit. Uh, somebody just saw somebody on here was just saying, uh, what is the... Uh, was asking about the beers. That was that? Really? On exposed experiences. Raquel say she's late. She just getting there. <laughs> right there, she said late. I'm yeah, sitting here learning though. tree in in less than 18 minutes, and and let 18 minutes go by. Oh, okay. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't missing nothing, baby. You right on time. We will visit once we get there. My wife loves. Yow. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. We'll man. be waiting on you too. We'll yeah, be waiting. Yes. For real. Yes. Yeah, so uh what's saying? the local beer there? Okay. Oh, okay. That's you what we've been saying. Club. These are Ghanaian brands uh, of beer. Yeah, Star Club. Uh what's the other? Oh, it's another local beer, man. I got the uh the name in my head. I can't call it. <laughs> Uh, uh, some some one of our uh, folks here will. The people call drink a lot of Guinness there too. They drink Guinness there. <clears throat> They're thick. The dark Guinness, Guinness stout, dark. Mm. And uh, Gilder, Gil, Gil, Gilder, 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 yeah, Gilder. Uh -huh. is another one. And Gilder is like a lager, so you know. Mm, it's that thick beer. Man, it's double yeast. And they lay down Triple. on you. <laughs> Like club and stars, like people that like lighter, Light. crisp beers. Mm. Club and stars good, but like the Guinness and like uh, that Gilder, it's like ale. You know, what I'm saying you drink that, you have that book. Right? But the big thing in Ghana is bitters. Yeah, so you got to get beer. into bitters when you get to Mandingo, Ghana. Mango, yes. Uh, Casa Preco. Uh, what's a, a dome or what is it? A donko a, bitters. A do, is it a, a donko or a, a donko dono bitters? Uh, yeah. Yeah, bitters are uh, made from a natural gin, <coughs> roots and herbs soaked in a natural gin. Because Ghana believe in like herbs and believe in the roots. So they use mahogany and strong wood and all different types of uh trees that's been in Ghana for mid thousands and thousands of years and they make bitters out of it which is a, a small alcohol content but has been soaked in herbs and bitter I mean it's it's really an experience so you have to get into it there yeah keeps it gets Guinness and star yep, yep. Uh -huh. that's two of them hmm okay yeah, so you got and they believe in cold beer now. They you're not gonna get no warm beer. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something stupid I did right quick while we going on. This ain't even on the subject, but we were talking about warm beer. I went to Jamaica the first time I went to Jamaica and hanging out in rosters. So me, I said I'm doing it like y'all doing. It. Whatever y'all doing is what I'm doing. Come on, let's go. So they was like, okay, and they drink <laughs> Guinness hot in Jamaica. <laughs> man, I got to drink that damn Guinness down there, man, and then it fell out in Jamaica. Got back to the states and had drunk. At this time, I was drinking a gallon of water or more a day. And when I was in Jamaica, I didn't drink hardly. no hardly no water. I'm just you down there drinking some, rum. I'm like drinking Guinness hot with these rosters. We, you know, have not Jamaica skipped through the leaves and 
Man, look, I got back home, had kidney stones like a mug. My boy, I went to the bathroom and it was just blood. I screamed, ah, it was no pain, but all blood. But don't do that. Just make it long story short. Yeah, he learned drink his lesson. He ain't so been I don't no drink drink at all no more. No more. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Marie, congratulations Marie. on y'all 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Yeah, yes. What's up? We are growing, family. We are really growing. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up where you are. I yeah. see everyone drinking club, club beer. That's a favorite, Sherry. It definitely is And somebody said, uh, in Kenya, Tusker is everything. Was that unexposed uh -huh. experience? I think it was. Yep. She said, in Kenya, Tusker is everything. Oh, okay. okay. Tusker mm. might drink. Look, I saw an Ethiopian beer they had on the flight back from uh, Ghana. It had just a little picture of an Ethiopian caricature on the bottom. The whole bottle was black with some Ethiopian Amhotic writing on it, Joker. Ooh, I wanted it just for the can. He said one beer is enough for two heads. <laughs> Man, what? Uh -huh. 18 lights and 28 in here. Hit that like button. Thank you, Marie. Like it's like it's like it's come like on, y'all. Double yeast. <laughs> <laughs> well, future talking it about is. double yeast. <laughs> so, Troy said, I grew up in the cafe LOL in the 80s. I even me a burger, <laughs> some fries, and my great uncle had a little cup with some beer for me. We both walked out stumbling. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh, you, you, look, my grandmother had a, a cabinet in the front of the house, a china cabinet. She had that Morgan David wine. On the cabinet down there, junk. So what I do, I know what I think. Well, I would think my grandma do one time. Well, my grandma was a Sagittarius. So she, I go in there and sneak in that Morgan David wine and just hit the, pour a little bit in the cap, just a little bit in the cap and hit it. Come back in and smell like sweet funky grapes. My grandma be laughing like, boy, go in there, sit down, <laughs> sneak in the name of Morgan David. Keith said, two tots and one Guinness for lunch. Ooh. <laughs> He looks cut up. <laughs> now, see, I mean, some of the people I watch on YouTube. Okay. Hello, Elizabeth yes, in the house. Is. Yo. Oh. Warm beer get you there quicker. Yeah. Especially in a hot climate. <laughs> I found out. I exposed experience. I was head. sleeping in cabs and everything. Keith said, bro, the first time I had palm wine, how you get lit from something straight from a tree. Ha! Bro, let's, I'm going to show you. We're going to be there let together. Let me tell y'all, let's talk about the cost of palm wine Man. compared to the red wine, white wine, and all them wines that we drink. Penis. Palm wine, once again, is something that is tapped from the tree from the tree early in the morning where they tap the tree and put a hole in it and they put a a tube stick through there and and it just flows into a, con a container and they serve it in a calabash early early morning on the way to the water fire yeah, i'm gonna kill you with this then it's cold when it come out Ooh, the tree it's, it's nice cool it's cool. right nice it's like a just even in throughout the sunshine and everything when it comes out of out. that tree it's like it's sitting in the air condition inside of there like it's a little cooler inside of the tree, like it's yes insulated wrapped or something and then and it's like a, a some pennies it's really not expensive at all like so we get a well, how, we how tall get, is that bar like a voltage bar that's what like a, a, a 24 ounce you think it's 24 ounce yeah it's like about 24, 24 ounce, ounce. Bottle, and you might pay Three CDs, two CDs. Which is not even a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So we get like two natural three of them wine. Drunk. Natural wine. So y'all, you don't have to put that red and wine it, aside. Some, it naturally ferments. It don't care where you get it at. You can freeze it. It's gonna ferment still. If you leave it out, it's gonna blow up. <laughs> if you put it in the regular refrigerator. You got to open it small, 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 and let the let the pressure off before you come up before it come up out of there, and it gets stronger and stronger by throughout the day. the day. So in the afternoon, it turns into a beer, and it's just as cheap as it's economical, and it's uh it's it's not processed. It's straight, straight out the straight out, out the, the tree. tree, out the tree, and will lay you a bro. I don't know what it is about the tree. See, that's what let us know some things that we do 
We it's only, supposed to do. I mean, yes, natural. The creator gave you the palm tree, man. So why not? I'm going to drink this palm wine. I'm not going to drink no processed beer. I'm not going to drink no wine. I'm going to catch me a little buzz off of it. You know, that's going to lay you back, let you be chill out at the waterfall. And it's delicious, too. And it's good. I'm talking it's about it's very good. delicious. You know how you get something cold and you just keep drinking it because it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool. 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 Just up under water, that's how palm wine is. It hits your palate, just like like cold coconut water. Yes, it's delicious. Sheriff said, I love bitters. I've only had the Trini, Haitian, Liberian, and Dominican Republican versions. I can't wait to taste the Ghanaian. Oh, it's so many, Sherry. They hit you like hammer. It's so many of them. We're going to make sure we have us a nice little bar inside our welcome center. With our palm wines, with, with our bitters, bitters, and we're gonna make our own bitter ourselves too. Yep. Yes. LOL, I used to say, Unk, I got some beer in the car, but they hot. He'd be like, Is it wet? <laughs> <laughs> Unk, real, boy. Okay. Hey, that's too real. <laughs> Yo, we got over 2K. Thank you, yo. Thank you. Yeah, ain't sure he too real. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet. It ain't about what the temperature is. It's wet. That's all it count. <laughs> Man. Yeah, like 50 cents. That's how much it costs. And then on top of that, in the evening, it turns into a natural liquor. Natural. And it is, uh, look. You you can you have to drink it like a shot. You can't even drink it like you drunk when you drunk the palm wine early that morning. Oh man! Because it turns into a natural liquor as the day goes by. Talking about a knock you down. It sure will. Seriously, my paternal grandmother used to say beer was good for worms and children. She was from Louisiana. Uh huh. Hey, I wouldn't doubt it. I'm telling. Look, one of my great aunts. You go gr gr great aunt house. She have a little moonshine. She would take a finger and. She you just in the, in the thing and the baby crying ah she like, right quick oh uh, <laughs> he said yes and you can't bottle it because the container will explode Keith, yes, i, I almost blew my face off and gone to this past time i had that damn uh excuse my french but it, i just it just popped back in my head man i had a the 24 ounce <laughs> bottle we're talking about is about this tall so y'all can see it's about this tall. So I had it in the freezer. So I don't know what I'm thinking about. I've been doing this year after year. So I said, man, let me just take this uh, take this palm wine out and let it unthaw. So I let it unthaw. And I think I'm like, I'm seeping it a little bit. Man, I go in there the second time to seep that bottle. That joker said, boo! I'm talking about when it blew out, the top blew up, hit me right over the eye. And that big long bottle, shout out to... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out all over the damn kitchen. It was man. a bomb. It, was, it blew all man. over the place. We didn't get none of that one. It was a wrap. It blew up. Nature is amazing, says Keith. For and real. it's true. You get to experience a whole lot of natural things that will take you back to the natural way of doing things when you get to Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, everyone from California. Virginia! Virginia Welcome back. <laughs> I've heard the palm wine we drink at the African restaurants here are garbage. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth, Sherry. Yes, man. I had one of them bottle of palm wines when I was in Atlanta one time at a wedding. And I had my taste buds set on some Ghana palm wine. I popped that bottle up and I was highly disappointed. They gave you the look. I got some palm wine, but no, nah, you ain't going to get the same effect. It ain't going to get the same effect of just tapping it from the tree. It's just not available. <laughs> It's just not. <laughs> Troy said this year alcohol is essential in Louisiana. They stopped selling it 24 hours, but only from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. What? Man, Keep say, bro, can't walk straight, sleep all day lit. <laughs> <laughs> Keisha! What's up, Keisha? What's up, Welcome back. What's, What's up, up, bam? What's up, y'all? Yo, Jalon in the house. Can you drink 40 ounces of palm wine? Oh, no. You going to sleep at 15.2 ounces. <laughs> if you make, to, it if you make it to that. It, really, really. Then it turn into the beer in the afternoon. Man, it would be good, too. I like to hit it right, bro, when it right when it get to be right, a little slushy bone. When it get just be slushy like that, bro. And you just hit it like when you got to... 
kind of suck. It'd be like a little flaky ice in there. <laughs> Can you tell the story of what happens when you're on your way to Africa? Okay, K and K and K T V. Which story? Shoot. <laughs> when you're on your way. When you're on your way. Now, me personally, I've had a few experiences where the craziest crap in the world happened to me the day before we was getting on the plane happened like two years in a row. It was wild, wild, wild. From a, a car wreck to almost going to jail. So, you know, it's black man stuff, but hey, man, I went and got on the plane and left. So, we had to, oh. Well, you had to tell me which story you're talking about because it's so oh, many of them. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Troy told Sherry, he said, it stopped for two hours. 22 hours, you can buy it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's how they do them, uh, them parishes in, in Louisiana. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> Sherry, <laughs> mahogany bark, cider pine is good for the blood mixed with Actitisha bitter. Man, I got some of that in the kitchen right now. Yeah, we always bring us some mahogany. 20 mahogany and fever root. Yes. Put that in that expectation. It's going to turn nice and brown. Okay, said naturally beautiful only in the motherland. Ain't really? this something special? Jam Love family. Greetings, Greetings everyone. What's up, Jam Love? What's up with you? Everybody's in the house. Y'all make sure y'all put them thumbs up. We talking about the difference in the prices or the difference in things. You know, once we start, you know, getting acclimated and being, and some things you might want to bring with you. So uh, let's talk about some of the things see. that you might want to bring with you. Me, myself, I like a certain type of organic ketchup, and I have to bring <laughs> me some mustard and some ketchup because I love me some natural organic mustard and some ketchup. <laughs> I have to bring that with me. No. Some Frank's hot sauce. I had to bring my Frank's hot sauce <laughs> with me. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, uh, I what else? The first time Uncle Tete tasted some Frank's hot sauce. He's like, oh, this is good. This is nice. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Uncle Tete, this is my Frank's uh -huh. hot sauce. I like it on my thing sometimes. This is our Shito. Yes, Jake Baba I said, hello, family power, future greetings to your beautiful bro and sister. You are all doing great, and we love you, fam. Thank you, bro. And we love you back. Yes, it is. <laughs> and welcome back, Jake. Welcome. I go. Oh, man. man. Hey, yeah, up, boy. What's Yo! up, man? What's up, homie? Uh-oh. Oh. Our homie is in the house. Hey, What's bro. up? In the club, it sells just not in the store. Oh, wow. Hey, Keisha, glad the hub is on with you. Yes, everybody is here. Let's talk about the shoes made by hand. Keep, thank you. Keep Man. coming on, coming on with it. Look, Man. you can get some exclusive. Let's talk about the clothes and the shoes. Now, if you want to go, you, you know, we used to go on go somewhere high end, trying to get some nice threads and stuff like that. You can get tailor-made clothes to fit your body perfectly. Ghana has some of the best tailors and, and, and shoemakers that you ever want to see. I'm trying to, to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I just seen some funky shoes. Fun I'm talking boy. about fly sandals. Woo! I mean... Oh, and, I got some sandals. You need to show my sandals I got. Let me go upstairs to get my samples and show my samples like that. Sure, you can do I'm going to show y'all some authentic Ghanaian handmade samples I got. Right and there. then even the sandals that the kings wear, they are handmade by people in the north. Or um, Look, you can get some nice, nice things for the low, low. Say, for instance, a pair of uh, leather, uh, some type of shoes made out of look leather or something like that man um handmade like a brother make that they probably cost you like what 60 gonna cities or something like that these like high-end like very nice expensive supposed to be 
Guys, you can get you can get some shoes in Ghana. You can get some flip flops for three CDs or a four Ghana CDs or five Ghana CDs. That's less than a U.S. dollar. You know what I'm saying? When you just need something to tour around in when you around in the city or you headed to the beach or something. But um, a lot of shoes, you, you can get authentic made shoes and authentic clothing where you can get your whole, whole wardrobe made for a, a less, just say for instance, uh, if you call a wardrobe seven outfits for like a hundred US dollars. <laughs> how cheap how economical is that how cheap is that to be able to get clothes you can just get you ain't got to never wear european clothes or clothes imported from china and no place else if you don't want to there's seamstress everywhere there's tailors everywhere you can get shoes you can get whatever you want Ghana made and make sure we push for Ghana made everywhere you go. Even in the markets, when we go to the markets, we look for Ghana made rice, the red rice or the brown rice. It's, 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 I mean, rice is truly came from African people. I did the research on Ghana rice for 5,000 years or more. This rice uh, that Ghana has and um the gunna beans the local greens and and greenery and stuff way cheaper than what we would pay for organic stuff when you when you look for organic and gunna made stuff versus the imported stuff that the chinese or all the asians have imported into the society you know from thailand and perfume rice and plastic rice we got to get away from all of that stuff so, you know, these are things that you can use that's the most economical. You won't, you know, spend a lot, but it's some things that you might be used to, like you like on your food or whatever you might have to bring with you. I'm going to talk about some more of that. Condiments. Yes. Now, they do have condiments, but the condiments that I have seen, and I'm seeing more and more condiments imported from the U.S. now, but they are more expensive. The price that you would pay for one bottle of uh, Louisiana hot sauce. I saw that there. And there's a uh, Tabasco sauce. They sell that in different different kinds that I had never seen before. But the Tabasco sauce, you're going to pay high end compared to if you had to borrow three boxes and put them in your, your check-in luggage, you would have been straight versus that or same thing with ketchup they got different ketchup brands but the organic kinds that i like to use and you know that i'm accustomed to and mustard and all that stuff that i have to have for my my <laughs> food <laughs> jerk sauce i mean whatever i wanted i bring this i brings my stuff with me each time i had to make sure i had this so what you laughing at, laughing at you. <laughs> Muscle. I ain't no more M and M's. Yeah, they got, they got M and M's there, but yeah. we don't eat them. I don't eat them. They got Mars bars and Snickers. Yeah, and they got they got everything. You, you got ain't some, gonna miss a beat now. I ain't gonna lie to it's you. It's some it's some there now. It's a oh look, lot I'm gonna show y'all it now. For example, of your shoes, just some sandals I got made in Ghana. Well, hey, you can't hold them sandals like that. I got, that. These, I got these doing? in Ghana. So they this they, some good men folk. Yeah, toe feet. Shoes, yeah, sandals, joints. and me. I had to put some sandpaper on this thing because in between my toes, this was killing my toes. <laughs> but these are some of the most comfortable sandals, and they look so good on your feet. Yes, they do. All oh, them jokers look so. Hard how much on your do you feet. remember how much you paid for these? I paid I think I about bought them for you though 15 gonna see this, about 15 gonna see these. Are handmade, yep. And they still look new, and he's worn a few times. Yep. And this, those are authentic Ghana made sandals. And these, these are the ones for the kings. Yeah, for smaller feet. These are made. It was it the Shanti region or the North Bay? Shanti region. The Shanti region. Mm -hmm. But these are shoes fit for a king. So all of my brothers. 
and they had a big wide flip forward foot joints too but they be so hard on the bottom of my feet i gotta have to have me some a little softer, softer on my but feet it's just according to what you prefer um but he probably paid what did he pay for them these was it was a little more expensive i think these was like 20, 40 dollars no, because Jaja paid 20 for his. He did. Oh, okay. So, so it's probably, probably like 40 gone to see this we pay for those, which ain't oh, I even. Hmm. I don't know what I thought I was listening to. Excuse this is not even eight eight US dollars, but they are home grown, home gonna made. Why mustard? I need my organic stone ground and spice must. Yes, bring that witch in there. Bring it because they be having some brands. That they a lot of the brands come from the Arab countries, man. And you know I don't, what they are, but I don't trust. I don't them. trust them at all. No, they have a few brands at a few stores that we familiar with that you can buy, but yes, actually we have. We oh, just we had got that at, at the West at the West now West Mall. West, West Hills, Hills Mall. Mall. Yeah. They had what was going on? It was a. It was some. What was it? Oh, is it going to Independence? Yeah, it was going to Independence. independence. Yes, we had that, that for the first time. Tito was so, hey. Tito, we had uh, La Mujin. La Mujin. And That's from Nigeria, right? I think so. Yeah. We had Pito, La Mujin. And it was another one. It was another What was the other one? Oh, it was uh, uh, Hibiscus. What what we call that? Bisop. 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 Uh, or what we call it? Sobolo. Sobolo. Yes, Sobolo. Sobolo. Yes, we did. We love it. Man, that was good, Tupac boy. Pito. But the yes. La Mujin is my favorite, though. La Mujin, a fermented millet and sorghum, and those are two ancient uh, African grains that we all should be using and yep. eating in Ghana. Millet and sorghum are two ancient grains that you. So you can use millet flour. You can get it grinded where you can use it as a flour. You can use it like it's grits in the morning to make your porridge or your soup. I mean, or your breakfast uh, grits or whatever. Sorghum, the same thing. You can bake with it. You can cook with it. It's very healthy and nutritious. And it's original grain that a lot of the, the white grains that, that we use are uh split from mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's taken from <coughs> so thank you for mentioning that pocket boy that's Man, a good I'll one yes i'm trying to think like for uh things that i would ship like uh any of your uh, appliances i would think that you would might like your specialty appliances like blenders people that juice well they got some good blenders there like now that. Like so, you know, before. you might want to use but like Vitamix, you know, like so ninjas heavy and duty ninjas <laughs> and stuff that you used to have, and you can ship that stuff right on with you and bring it with really, you. Really, you can, I was about to say that you can allot your suitcase, pack that thing real good, pad mm -hmm. it real good, because leave it in the box because it got the foam and the protection in it for shipping already, and put it in that thing and get it on there. The tailor will come to your house for $15. Man, we seen a dude that had, they had a whole team of uh, tailors, tailors. That come to the lady house. They bought the table, the sewing machines, yes. and everything. It was sewing the whole in, her setup crib. in her In the house while they made her clothes up. And it, look, you can get whatever you want for a little or nothing when it comes to the way we used to spending money for clothing. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, stop the yawning, great uh, power. I was gonna say, granddad, <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming with one suitcase. LOL, I'm buying all my clothing down there. Hey, look, some so freshy, it. freshy, It'll freshy, be so fresh, so fresh. I got some little sets. The last time I was there, I was like, let me get on this track, let me go out here and work out, make sure I'm tight because I, I like to be 100%. Jake said, Paga boy, are you really from Paga, Ghana, where the Crocs are friendly to the people and the children? Man, my mama was at one of them spots where they go pet the crocodile. She is sitting on a crocodile's back. She's about 67, 68 at the time, I think. Oh, he said, yes, sir. That's my hometown. Hey, hey. Hey, him and his twin. He a twin. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. She said, yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Everybody want to get them clothes done. Get you, get you some 
some one of a kind pieces. All you gotta do is go out and find all the fabric you like. Anything that strike you just buy. What? How many yards? Six, six yards. Six yards to do your jogging suit. I know. And I was I was lodged in. Oh, I got a cold jogging suit I had made. And the dude that made it was the security guard at the apartment we were staying at. at the yes, time. he was a tailor, a bonafide he was tailor. A tailor. I'm talking about that boy put the belt loops on my. I got pockets and my 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 hooked me up, boy. I got it made a jogging suit. Yes. Oh man. Now we had some shoes one time. We first got the gun and we were staying. We went up in the bush and met Ooh. a brother called Sweet Africa. Where my Sweet Africa shoes at? Sweet Africa made power. He had made power some shoes. When I tell you these shoes had last many, many years. And what it was made out of, baby? Wicker. Corn husk. Corn husk. This brother made power some shoes made out of corn husk. And when I tell you it probably was equivalent to 10 US dollars, it might have been less than that. But these shoes, are uh, you don't you they got to go up in a museum or something. We would never get rid of those shoes. They are one of a kind. He's gone to see if he can find them. So y'all can put y'all eyes on these. Pogable, okay, that is grit. Greetings. Yes. Next year this time, Shawnee said. Troy said, my people brought me some material from Nigeria 2016. I still ain't got nothing made yet. Oh, here he come with the junk from, from Sweet Africa. This is a brother that lived in the bush, and he made power these shoes, and they made out of corn husk. They are well worn now. I just wanted to show them to you. They still look good. They well worn. They look good, fine. too. Hey, all this them. is corn husk. Everything he made is the corn shoe strings. The inside, he, he got built the shoe, he built from, the shoe scratch. from scratch. That's way out. And we had these shoes about 12 years. 12 years, at least. At least 12 I years. I done walked all over Gunner in these shoes. <laughs> all over Gunner, yes, I walked sir. in these shoes in rain. And Ghanaians are like, oh, I love your shoes. They are wonderful. <laughs> uh-huh so yeah so the cost you know what i'm saying when it comes to different things you are gonna be able to have you a good time and oh just love on yourself and spend some small small money get you some nice things in ghana a lot of people be talking about expensive or whatever you can haggle the price when you go to different vendors and you can get a price that you like. Some people you have to walk away from because they, you know, they might give you price of a, a, a Bruni price. But if you demand <laughs> oh BB knee price, which is black man price, you oh brother, I'm old BB knee. You got to give me a what's the African price? Your last price. And they tell you the last price, and it's not fair. Then you say, Oh, okay, maybe next time. Oh, they'll stop you before you get. Go what say, do oh, what do you want to What do you want to pay? Come, come. What do you want to pay? Yes. So if the things are different costs, um, uh, say, for instance, uh, when it cost, comes to the cost of living, a lot of times people want to know direct prices of things and how it costs when it comes to getting an apartment or getting a house or whatever. It still don't compare to the prices of things that we pay for in the states. Not a fraction if price. you live in California, you can go and live fine high. Oh, I don't want to say on the hog. I want to say <laughs> high on the plantain. On the plantain, <laughs> yeah, high on the plantain, and and live really well because you used to being taken. <laughs> <laughs> Them expensive prices in California is, is robbery. Man. Highway robbery. Talk about the real gold, mama. Ooh, we. Now, we. That is an experience that you have got to experience because Ghana is called the Gold Coast. Okay? So you're going to see so much gold kings walking around Especially with real authentic gold 24 karat gold 
not all that mixed stuff that we used to seeing in the states lying like it's gold when it only had to be a certain point some percentage to say that it's 14 karat gold and it's mixed with all types of metal no gonna get the real deal gold 24k and you can get it at a nice price oh my goodness and you can get in and, and turn it into ne- yes jewelers that's exactly what i was going to say next yep. you can get necklaces done rings authentic gold from your motherland how about that you can go visit a mine if you want to to see how gold is you know what i'm saying has done is you i hope you don't run up on the wrong ones the explorers but mm-hmm. they are in ghana they are there but the gold is a beautiful sight to see especially if you get a chance to go to any festival or they pull out some, all the stops on that talking about some ghost face killer where he got all that went slick rick and all them that's a that's an african trait man and look think about how massa musa looked okay hmm <laughs> Think about it. Tanzania this December and Ghana, June 2021. Take hey! Care of that, take care of that. experience got it all planned out. Yes, I'm from Ghana, from the eastern region. Okay, Jake, bye bye. This is from the eastern region. <laughs> hey! This December, I'm visiting the Gambia, Senegal, and I'm going to try and extend the trip to visit Ghana as well. Oh, uh, you can do it. It's great. <laughs> yep. Paper boy, yes, Eastern Region. Paga boy. Really? And Keith, yes. We're going to get all that crap canceled in the next five to 10 years. Everything going to be off the continent. No, I'm telling you. All of them. They don't have no room to sustain itself mm-hmm. no more. They got to go and they crap. Keisha said, beautiful sandals, baby. Oh, thank you, Keisha. Thank Cute. you. Thank you. Bye. Fire. Fire, yeah, yeah. Paga boy, I love the northern region of Ghana is most on uh, what is it? unsport areas, areas of Ghana. Yes, yep. it's authentic in the northern region. I've heard so many times. I have yet to been able to go. This time we was really planning on doing most of our travels around Ghana, and you already know the pandemic happened. Three dollars. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Down. I'm telling you, <laughs> it just is fresh air, yeah. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Eight dollars, yeah. This is how we settle there when I retire. Oh, right, those slippers are Sherry. very nice. Thank you, Sherry. So, yeah, you know, the cost of living is you know, it, and just depending on. What you two laying there? I some fire ketchup in Kenya. My life has never been the same. That's <laughs> awesome. Ooh, that's probably some of that good, good Kenyan grown tomatoes made that kit. Yeah, Man, I can't wait to go to Kenya. I can't get to East Africa fast enough. <laughs> I can't lie. I, I gotta get there. Oh, oh, they use it to to make watch it. Watch oh, watch it. It's like the spaghetti noodles. What? Watch, watch oh, watch it. The Volta Lake is world class. Look, you can go anywhere in any place that you go. Like when we went to Cosmo Dam, we rode on the um uh the the uh, boat the boat ride. Mm-hmm. Take you up to the dam. The dam that uh uh Kwame and Krumah was responsible for constructing to give power to Ghana and, and all the other neighboring countries. countries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a man. That it, it's something about that. That it's just like it's like it's like the water is alive when you're on that river. Mm-hmm. On that the lake, I'm saying river on that lake. lake. Yeah, it's like man, it's it's breathtaking. See, and people out there fishing right there on the you know with the flat boats on the water fishing doing everything. I can't move without my juicer or my vitamin. See, it's right. Yeah, these are things that you need to bring with you. Because it's not it's not a normal thing in Ghana to uh uh to the you know the brands that we're accustomed to using or whatever that last long that we used to using like the ninjas and you know the Vitamix and stuff like that. You want to bring those things with you and 
there are some brands in in Ghana, but they are from China and mm -hmm. and uh a lot of other places. Yeah, they they don't them. have the same type of power that we used to. So definitely bring stuff like that when you repatriate and back. Anything else y'all can think of, I can tell you. I'm yawning too. L O L y'all is saying power always putting everybody, giving everybody <laughs> the bug to go to sleep. <laughs> Talk about getting your hair done, y'all. Now, it's some fly barbers and stylists in Ghana. Some fly, fly barbers in Ghana. Now, let me tell you, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you about the barber situation. Some of the best barbers I have seen in my life, and I'm a barber. Yes. Are in Ghana. Now, with that being said, you have to make sure that you find the right barber that you can communicate with <laughs> because they will cut your goddamn mustache <laughs> off of your face. Because this this may, <laughs> I tried to explain <laughs> this as best I could to the brother. I <laughs> like my mustache kind of thick. You can cut, you know, you can line. I said, brother, just line my mustache, bring it down some. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> That's when I found out that, oh, okay, okay, okay. Sometimes means that I don't understand what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> so you got to continue the communication process a little bit further. You got to watch and, and hope. I have thick lips, African oh. trait lips. Don't go no further than that. Stop. I don't do the little dab, bit. Dab, 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 hit right my mustache there. thing. It might hit me with the little Adolf Hitler thing, man. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> So I had to yak it on off. I got to, I just cut it all off, man. So right here, boy. Back. You know but, when you got the mustache and the mustache ain't there no more the next day? Brothers, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look, now let me tell you about getting your hair done. Now me, myself, I'm a hairstylist, so uh, I don't have the experience of that. A lot of people get their hair done, get their hair braided, the, the hairstylists, the little vendors are everywhere. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you can get hair your braided. hair braided anywhere. You can get a wig. You can get a weave. You know, them weaves and wigs, I don't agree with them, but pe some people like it. But I prefer the natural, the natural flow of things. I have seen some dynamic artists in Ghana that do some dynamic braiders, you know, natural hairstyles, as well as, you know what I'm saying, people that's doing um, uh, braids and different types and styles of braids that a lot of them are used right here in America, you know. So it's the, the game of the hair game is good. And, but like I said, it's still the, the things that we are accustomed to, how shops are we're used to, setups that like we're used to there are few and far between so you definitely need mm -hmm. to come with that if you are those those people that do those things i love that there are always got names in the chat me too yep. ain't that some <laughs> yep oh yeah i'm a personal trainer as well lol staying tight is a requirement that's right Shelly. yes 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 Keep saying he's a twin too. <laughs> Dang, we got That's the twins crazy. up in here. Yep. Your mama a boss, LOL. She was definitely living her best life. That's thriving <laughs> right there. <laughs> mama was out there, Troy. Yep. Okay. Massage therapist, person trainer used to be some of my best clients. You all refuse to stretch. Look. What? Come on with it, though. We need that. <laughs> she said, y'all refuse to stretch. <laughs> yeah, we need them. We need that. All of that right there that you say you are, you can You can do it. You can do it well. I mean, all y'all in Kung Fu school, because, yes, I, if you need any flexibility issues. Power got you. I got you. Paga boy, the Volta Lake from Ida through a Kosovo all the way to the northern region will soon have great towns or resorts, harbors, and railway connections soon mm -hmm. hey Paga boy keith timbers hello fellow twin ain't that some wow 
I love, I always love twins. Them damn shoes are bad, says Tisha. <laughs> Ain't you. nothing our, our people can't do. I'm trying to tell you. It's not. I couldn't believe that man made them shoes out of corn huts. I saw him when he started <clears> making them. We we met him and we kicked it with uh Sweet Africa. Sweet, and he was uh, an herbalist too. Uh, and herbalist. a professor. Yeah. And he was like, I'll make you some shoes. I make shoes. He showed us some shoes. He was like, what? He's like, I'll make you some. So he made them and called us when he got them ready. Yep. He made me a purse. Where my purse at? My purse right there, baby. Oh, he sure did make that purse. Man, I done had this purse forever. Sweet Africa made me a purse. And I ain't seen Sweet Africa since. He was Liberia, too. Yeah, he was from Liberia, but he live in Ghana. But this is my Sweet Africa purse. Let me show y'all this purse. This made out of corn husk too. Look at this. What about a, a specialty store somewhere? This is all corn husk. He dyed these colors naturally. He added some African fabric in it. He did all of this design. Look at the front. Look how the front is made. I know we didn't pay all together. We didn't even spend 20 US dollars for all of this authenticity. Look at that. <laughs> then look on the inside. It's just mm -hmm. this is this purse is like brand new and I've had it since 07 or something like that. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Sweet Africa. Awesome work. Yes, and you can get, oh, anything you, I mean, it's all kinds of stuff that you can get in Ghana. You just be like, oh, I got backpacks, <laughs> bags, yeah. you know, it's just. Oh, I got to show the man bag I got. The warrior bag. Yeah. Oh, I got to show it to him. Come on with it. Look, jewelry. It's everything is there. You don't need no accessories. Man, look. Some say I used to be that way. They like to be in and out. LOL. I need to stretch so I can stay flexible. I am a yogi at heart, so stretching is a must. Yes, it is. Wow, ain't nothing now people can't do. Now look Talented. at this bag right here, y'all. I don't know how you gonna have to let them see this bag. Turn it sideways, baby. <laughs> Look at this big bag, warrior bag. Mm -hmm. And he got an apron that he wears with this. Ain't it called an apron? Mm -hmm. Smock. A smock. Look at this. Oh, I will. It's made out of some type of animal skin, no. leather. Of Mm -hmm. But this is the kind of stuff. Look at it, it's just authentic. This stuff will last forever. <laughs> I had this bag for a long time. <laughs> Look at all that. This is authentic work. Just think you'll be able to wear your own people stuff. You ain't never got to wear anything else if you don't want to. You can wear anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's just like the cost. Of, a lot of people be saying that things are expensive and stuff like that. Um, I don't entirely agree. I know there's some places that are very expensive, but if you really get a chance to, to settle in and integrate with African people, they can find stuff for you. If you see something that you like, a lot of times I'd be like, I too... I like that. Can you uh check the check the price for me? See what type of price you need, how much it would cost, and he would go and get power. it. You know, huh? I was speaking black power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like the cost of living is is uh the cost of things. It just depends on the things like that's imported. 
if you know that it's something in particular that you love to eat, you love like seasonings and stuff like that, I always bring commercial size containers of seasonings because we are cooks and uh, soon we'll have a vegan restaurant in Ghana, Ooh, vegan food wait. truck in Ghana. Wait. And wait. until we get our hands on all of the seasonings that we can use that's in Ghana, that's Ghana seasonings, then we will have to import our seasonings to make sure uh, we stay on point when it comes to our the way our food tastes because seasoning is very important. Real to me, it's a California killing my pocket. Exactly why I'm getting out of here. Uh huh. So we got some whole family that's doing that. Mm -hmm. Yes, says Elizabeth. Out of here. Yes, especially the bay. I heard <laughs> the bay so expensive. Oh yeah, they like throwing those weights around. <laughs> what is a DAV at Black Pal? She said, I'm in San Francisco. Help me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got to hold his hand up because the goal is so heavy. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, be holding up, be holding yep. the dude, be holding the hand up. Yes, it's so true. Disabled American veteran. Oh, okay. DAV. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we um I hope everybody was able to take something from this. Uh when it comes to the different cost of things, uh, we talked about we enjoyed, and things are more likely that you need to ship when repatriating a gunner. Outside of your sentiments and things that you already know you need to bring. That's without saying. Put the link in so we can come on live, y'all. Y'all want to do a little live right now? I got a couple of more minutes, so let's go with it. Let's go. Let me put the link in. I love it when we come live. It's just make us get closer and closer to each other. So let's do a couple of minutes on the live before we get up out of her. Okay. Bam. All right, who wants to come on the live tonight? <laughs> I like it, Keisha. Have y'all visited Prom Prom? If so, how was it? Thinking about moving to that area. Prom Prom was very beautiful. It's mm -hmm. coastal, it's on the water. Um, the there's a, cool out there, too. Yeah, it's very nice out there. The people are cool. We at uh, one time almost got some land in Prom Prom uh, before. But we ended up not getting it because, you know, how it goes. One of them stories. One of them stories. <laughs> so be very careful when you're moving. If you're planning on settling there, uh, really check out who you're dealing with and make sure you got some family and some a team on your side like us. Okay? Uh, this is the sister. She says she's an elder and she's a veteran. Uh, and there are some diasporans I know that's out there as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, you'll be all right out there, though. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's paradise. Yes. And those are the areas that a lot, like I said, a lot of uh, retirees and stuff are, are in, and they thriving. Cape Coast, Prom Prom, they thriving. Yes. Yeah, so we got some family. Oh, Black Pals in Memphis, Tennessee here. What? Oh, you in what Memphis? You in Memphis, Black Pal? Oh, oh, yeah. Kabaya. Greetings. Welcome. So we got some family we going to bring. Peace and love family. We going to be so lit at the crib. I definitely can't wait to get them African threads. I'm throwing all my old clothes away. Right, I'm telling you. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So we going to call in. Who we got in here? Keisha! Keisha! Hey, hubby, come on in here, y'all. Hey! Yeah! Hey. Hey. What's up, what's up? What's up, fam? Hey. What y'all up to? How's everything? Oh, we good. We living through for you? <laughs> <laughs> You welcome, welcome, welcome. Future. Power and future. <laughs> yeah, we up in here, y'all. <laughs> yes, we enjoy. Yeah. We enjoying all the love and all the connections we making. 
I'm telling y'all, when we get to Ghana, we gonna be good. We you hear gonna me? gonna have a ball. Yes. But we, we did. Are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we trying to get out as soon as possible. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, man, look. And if, whoever go first, just know that the next wave is coming behind y'all and we got to go through the back door. We still coming. <laughs> However we got to get there. Yes. But so what y'all, y'all got anything y'all want to ask us as far as the cost of things or what, what you need to ship or is it important to ship it that you know of, that you can think of? Oh, like vehicle. If you want to buy a vehicle there, you know, mm -hmm. you see, you see somebody like go down to the harbor, and then you want to buy a car, and the person is like, "Oh, the price is eight grand," and you like, but on the harbor, you only had to pay duty to get it across. It was like maybe like four hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. So really, how much is the car? Yeah, it really just depends on that. They do. We have heard about the cars being for sale at the harbor. We ourselves have never bought a car from the harbor. We find it better to purchase cars way outside of Accra, sometimes an hour, hour. two hours uh -huh. away, three hours away. You can find some very good deals like we did this last time. We purchased two cars. Uh, outside of a crowd that weighs away and we may be paid what 2500 for one car uh -huh. and then we pay like uh maybe a little less for the second car mm -hmm. but they all are the same car we got dodge calibers yeah. uh -huh. um we, did, we, had the jeep. we bought the jeep uh some years ago how long we had the jeep like we had years? the years yeah about Eight, 10. Nine, almost 10 years now mm -hmm. yeah we had the jeep for some time as well it's a 97 jeep wrangler and i think we might have paid four or five thousand us dollars for it mm -hmm. but we was able it was so economical that we could we got the car restored we got the, the custom seats we got custom gun the seats mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. we got a lot of stuff done because the prices it was just good to catch these type of prices so now the cars that we just bought we're going to go ahead and get them painted and, you know, ready for it because we're going to be having uh, people. We're going to employ people to do Uber and transportation services for our folks when they come to Ghana. Wow. That's how, awesome. how much do you think a uh, like a, a, a tro tro, like a little bus? Van now, you, can get, you can get a tro tro, get a tro, -tro, -tro for, for dirt cheap. Yeah, like maybe like a. We say about a, a thousand US, maybe. Yeah, yeah a Trotro type bus. Yeah, because yeah. the most of the Trotros are very old, so mm -hmm. you can definitely get a good price for a Trotro. Yeah, because the reason why I say that is like for people that are coming uh, for their first time. Yeah, if they don't connect with people that are already there, you gonna hear ten different prices. Yes, it's yeah, really about true. who you know so that you so that somebody really understands your situation. Yeah, so you gotta network with the right group, or you uh -huh. going it is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's true. country, so it's, it's true. Like somebody feed a family, you gone and they happy. So you gotta kind of like pull people in and be like, look, I'm not. Don't treat me like no foreigner, like I'm some yeah, white dude. No, 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 price. Price. I'm on BB knee. Yeah, yeah. need price, you know. You got to negotiate it, and they appreciate it when you negotiate with them too. So yes, it's all good. We Look at that little one back to I okay. got somebody for you to play with. I got somebody <laughs> to play with. You gonna have a ball. <laughs> yes. So we so appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for coming on the live. And we gonna do this many more times. And we look forward to seeing y'all on the other side. We gonna party and we gonna go to work for the for the love of our people and the love for our country. Me and the bride. Me and you. That's it. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace out. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah, y'all. We gonna bring on the next person. We uh, who we got in here? Marie Antoinette. Marie in the house. Come on in here, Marie. 
Nothing. I wanted to add to the best to buy a vehicle where you're at and have it shipped or to buy the vehicle there. Like, what's the best cost efficient way to do? Best. It just depends on what uh what you want. Now, we've here heard horror stories when it comes to duty. And mm -hmm. you know, when you when you ship in the car, we had mm -hmm. somebody say the one time that the, the duty price was more, more than, than what they worth. paid, mm -hmm. yeah, what that car was worth. So mm -hmm. it just depends. Uh they said that there is a website that you can go on and actually put the make and model of the car in, and mm -hmm. they will tell you what the duty price is. So it's best to do that. I think it's gonna mm -hmm. import authority or export or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. import. So just uh, make sure you research and then whatever kind of car it is that you like, you can okay. go to tonatone.com, T O N A T O N.com, or G G J I J I.com, and compare prices to. You know the cars that you're accustomed to or the cars that you might want to have they mm -hmm. have those cars on there and all you have mm -hmm. to do is do the exchange uh rate now, to, just to see exactly you can go google the, the price and they'll tell you exactly what it is in us dollars okay and then i have one more question so is it best i know you were talking about the AAA national uh license you could get right. the National yeah. driver's license. Right. So, can you apply for a license there instead of doing the national license? How does that work? You guys know? I would say come with your AAA license first. It's not an application, it's just going to pay the money and get the license. Mm -hmm. And okay. then worry about the other part when you get there because there are some, some, you know, some steps and procedures you have to take certain documents you already have to have yeah, you it. have to, to actually get a license you, you have to already right. have applied for a residency because it'd be you know it, a lot of times we see a lot of the youtubers uh sisters that you know that's from ghana they don't mm -hmm. have the same process that we have to go through as diasporans they'd be like just go get your driver's license i went and got my driver's license today and this so and so so and so but when it comes to us we got a certain amount of a uh, process the criteria, you criteria that we have to go right. through so if you can get access to that AAA, that uh international permit is recognized <laughs> in over so many countries all over the world that okay. it's good for you and by that time you'll have your driver's license by then yeah and i seen the cost was only twenty dollars in california i was like whoa like that's yeah. shit yeah. yeah so thank you family i love you guys so you, so you trying to you trying to drive and let me ask you this before you go so you trying to jump out there driving gonna yes yes oh i'm a driver i know a lot of women say that they're scared to drive out there but right. i'm a driver you know i stay on the road i'm meeting you guys in vegas too i'm driving to vegas to come see y'all so. yeah. <laughs> okay. awesome well i look forward we look forward to seeing you we're gonna party and we gonna strategize and come together. We not mm -hmm. just playing, we working at the same time, but we right. get to know our people. So we'll have our network already and our foundation solid. Everybody feel comfortable. Everybody be comfortable and everybody be straight. So All right, family. Well, I love you guys. Y'all stay safe. All right, love y'all right. too. Peace. Peace. <laughs> oh yeah so yeah those are some great questions i love it when we interact like that can't go wrong everything is cool memphis in the house yes i had some rising and went to a barbecue talk around and he gave me some mercy cream and it vanished in 24 <laughs> hours Zion, marie said i am a twin too i have a twin brother man, man we got all go this dual man. energy going on around here that's what I'm talking about. Three sets of twins up in here. Wow, that's awesome. Wow. That is beautiful. I always been fascinated with twins. Three twin power up in here, y'all. My, my dad is a twin. Yep. <laughs> he got a twin sister. Power father is a twin. Yep. 
Oh, don't threaten me with a good time, Taylor. Africa fresh fits and my hair down every day. Oh my God, that purse. Thank you, Malika. I'm telling you. We got some pieces, baby. When I see it, that's oh, that, that's another thing I want to tell you about Ghana. When you see something, don't say, oh, I'll get that next time. Uh-uh. You'll be upset and you'll be hurt. Yeah. When you see something you like, get out and get it. You might be riding back. It'd be a, a lot of times I've been riding back. I'd be like, oh, I like that. Oh, I want that so bad. I'm come back through here and get it. The opportunity will not come again. Man. When you see something, this is a real good lesson. Y'all remember this and you're going to thank me for it later. When you see something you like, get it. Don't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Don't wait. It'll, you'll be sad that you did. Do not wait. I'm telling she you. She on passing me by. <laughs> Maurice, that's cool. Like most people, I'm absolutely fascinated by twins. Yeah. Oh my God, my sister would love that purse. I'm telling you, what? <laughs> Vina Vito Gusu Abo Kilidibo. What is this you Abo speaking? Kilidibo. Abo Kilidibo. Is, is this from the north or the east? I swear. We're about to learn something new. I feel it. Beautiful purse. Yes, the purse is gorgeous. Thank you, Keisha. Spirit of twins, door to door. Yes. We got all the power up in here, y'all. That bag was hot. Vince Camuto is making those type of bags now. What? What? Twins for my parents to have a girl. Uh, I have six <laughs> brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that man bag is tight, Keisha said. Yes, yeah, my little, my little Look like right them there. shields. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's why I like, and I keep. I can put a whole sword in that joint. You so do. Y'all got some fire stuff. I'm. A, I'm feeling the shoe bags. All that. <laughs> Thank uh -huh. you, brother. That's nice. They sell those big leather bags at the African market in Harlem, like for like six hundred. What? What? Highway robbery. Oh, That's why y'all oh, got to buy man, all y'all stuff look. when you get to gun. How about furniture? furniture? Hold on, baby. Shoney said something about furniture. Shoney, we had a bed made. A bed made that we still ain't picked up yet. It's still in Ghana in the warehouse at the dude's spot right now. And the bed is like 300 US dollars. You probably would pay about $3,000, $4,000 for see. this I'm bed. I'm 6'1". Yeah, I think my wife is about four, five, you about five, five nine, seven. five, seven. Mm -hmm. I we could lay, I could lay, she could lay flat, stretch her legs out, and I could lay my feet at the tip of her fingers and lay my head back and stretch my arms out and still be in Have the bed. some room. And it's a, a king, a super king size and like an Africa king size bed. And yeah, if you fool with the African carpenters, the Ghana carpenters that make beds and furniture and stuff. Ooh, you could get some fly stuff in your house. I have seen some of the flyest home decor in the world in Ghana on the side of on the, the road. side of the road. Now, if you want to go to the Fru Fru She She shops, that stuff is expensive. Very and the quality expensive. is not, not like you, the Ghana you're stuff. About. No, no, no. But the Ghana so, stuff, that's what you want. Yeah, so I would say if you want it, if you got a certain thing that you want. To keep with you to ship in your container is cool, but you can get some fly stuff when I well, I know I ain't worried about furniture when I get ready to show it. I <laughs> saw a black and gold leather couch with lion's feet on it for legs. Do you understand me? <laughs> it had lion's feet on. I realized what I'm saying, but they was Car, like car. The they made it, and you can know that it was some intricate, creative artistry oh, up out of there. Yes, I like the wicker furniture. Wicker furniture is you look your outside, your backyard, your front porch, however you want to design your stuff. Your your uh we compound would be nice. <laughs> okay, let's catch up. Yes, yes, yes. Mattresses can be made from scratch, and also you can buy mattresses. We bought many of them. It's not nothing to throw a stick at. Nope. 
I feel you. That's why I'm trying to get out of the NYC. My lease is up next month. The goal was to travel July and August and then move to Ghana in September. I'm definitely getting my hand all handmade furniture. Yes. It's best. Baby girl ain't scared of that camera. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> At all. How do we get go about getting the visa? The get visa, you. once you get your passport, passport. Mm -hmm. you send your V your passport. Uh, contact the visa of unexposed experiences in here. She works for the visa consulate in mm -hmm. Houston, Texas, and that's my number one recommendation. I've used all of them, they take care, they of, take care of them sisters in their office, take care of their business in their office. They're gonna have your visa. My visa came back so fast one time, she thought she I thought I mailed that damn visa to myself. I was shocked. <laughs> She said, baby, I said, what? I just mailed the visa to myself. We're going to be late. I had looked we, at the postmark. We're going to miss our flight. I said, baby, this is postmark from Houston, Texas. You're not in Houston, Texas, sweet love. <laughs> she oh, girl, calm down. We just out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so the visas, just con contact the visa consulate, the consulate of Ghana and Houston, Texas. Google it. You'll be straight. What we at on the on the thumbs up, y'all? Make sure y'all thumbing up. The smiles and the laughter are very healthy and really heals. It is nice to enjoy the conversation, yeah, ain't it? Man. Well, y'all, I got to hear some of my Ghanaian brothers on here uh, on Jay, the live Paga. I know uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, I had we had Paga boy and uh, greetings, Shamaria. Israel is in the house. Greetings, sister. I, uh... I love it. I heard it's ridiculous to ship a car from the USA. Unless you got a hookup at the port. That's why it's important to connect with Ghanaians. Yes, sir. It's important to it just integrate. Makes so much it easier. makes I'm everything more you. easier. So don't don't just take everybody's word to heart. It just depends. And say a lot of Ghanaians. They don't have the problems that we have at the port because they're Ghanaians. So that's why you got to get some Ghanaians on your team and your family that you, we got, and that, that's what we doing here. That's what we got here. So I'm sure Parker Boy and Jake and uh, anybody else, Frank, uh, Stephen, uh, all of our Ghanaian families would not hesitate to help us when it comes to doing things and getting it done. I, uh huh. So we don't worry. Just keep doing what we're doing. So no shipping our cars. Now I ain't say that. I said you can ship, but it's best to have Ghanaian family working for you when it comes to, to going to get that stuff done. Inside person on it, uh, or somebody that works that at the right. port. Because that little port cost, you know, we done had some horror stories about the port. But they like even they even said they're trying to work that out. Yeah, that's what this is supposed to be the year that all of that is worked out. Because that helps growth. If you say if you got the ports right, you got your charges correct for your ports when you're bringing in stuff, it's easier to help build infrastructure because now you can bring in big equipment, you can bring in your cars, your vans, and stuff that's up to date that you need to get around and make stuff easier. Yes, and so, also it's more than one way to skin a cat. If some of y'all plan on going to the Gambia and other places that's very cheap, you can ship your cars or your vehicles or your equipment or whatever to another country and just drive it into Ghana and pay whatever price. It's going to be cheaper than coming through the port too. So it just depends on, on what we find out when that time comes. Jay Baba I say, want cars, try Katanka, SUV designed by Ghana and made in Ghana. And them just is boss. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, that that Katanka. I saw one model Katanka car where it got that black star on the front of that joint. So fat, man. Ooh, we. I wish I could get one here just to flex on it and drive. Right, drive from New York to LA in that joint, just flying the black star, then ship it back to Ghana. That's all you get. One drive by. Marie, be still and let me see how you wrap that hair wrap. Too cute. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Queen Ashanti has a video yes, up about yes, shipping yep, the car. Yep. yep, she did. And she came on here too. So make sure y'all watch our video when she was talking about when she shipped as well. And eventually want to support Katanka. They're now trying them out with the police force. Yeah, we saw that we too. We saw that. Hey, Katanka they made a tank for the government too. 
Yes, a real military man, stuff. Man, we saw some that military thing they came up with. When we was in Ghana. Hey, man, Katanka ain't playing. Yes, yes, Keisha. They are already passed by Ghana police, and the Ghana government has ordered 500 Katanka See? SUVs. Oh, they're popping. Come pick me up on the way. LOL, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> <laughs> she said she going to she going Keisha to Vegas, too. She's a driver, too, boy. Ooh. It was like being on a stunt set and everybody <laughs> stunt drivers except for you. <laughs> Good choice, Cherie. The tongue is engineered for the African conditions and they ride well. Man. Go on, Jake. I sure we sure get another one. I want a red, a bright red one with that, that black star on the front of it. They said road trip. Okay, y'all go <laughs> organize everybody. Come on and get kicking with us. I'm licensed in California, Texas, Georgia, and currently New York. I still can't drive. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gonna drive when you get to Ghana, though? Yes, I'm serious too. I'm about to put in in the in the vacation time. Go on, do it, man. We're gonna have so much fun in Las Vegas. Wait till my cousin, my cousin, the director. He gonna see all these folks from all over the country. Like. Oh, that's for us. Like, yeah, cuz mm -hmm. it's going down. <laughs> we gonna have a ball. Airway <laughs> languages he speaks. Uh, uh Keisha said. Uh, How do we go about getting a visa? We went there already. Okay, you started already. Is your husband Ghanaian? Aha. Uh -huh. It took me three different states to get my license. It's <laughs> Sheriff Ron Bray, Hawaii, Texas, and Washington. Washington. <laughs> See, every time I pass road test, I was shot. <laughs> Man, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. You got named by ancestry. Sounds All right. Like, man. So basically, I should just bring my money and buy everything in Ghana. <laughs> KK TV. Uh, don't think too much, sweetie pie. Whatever you want to bring, bring with you. Then Whatever you, bring you your don't. Pictures, like, you know, all, all your, your sentimentals. Stuff, your sentimentals and stuff like that. Keisha said his great grandmother many times removed was from the Eastern region. What? Man, that's an that's a awesome feeling to know exactly where Alley your folks are from. Okay, Shawnee, that is your uh, IG name. I'm going to look you up when I get off of here. <laughs> She's telling me how to do that thing. How much is the visa? Ooh, you can get a, a five-year visa. Multiple entry visa. Multiple uh -huh. entry visa for $100, but if you have to get it in a rush, it's 200 and you can get a one-time entry visa. I think it's sixty or seventy-five dollars. But don't do that. That's just a waste of That's money. That's a Because you never know. Once you go, you're gonna be inspired to go again, and you don't have to go have to go through that process every time you go to Ghana. So it's worth the money. Y'all, let me tell you, if I if you can can't get me time off, file a FLMA. They don't ask for doctor's note when it has to come from Africa. They don't even check. Hey, good and important information from unexposed experience. Okay. FLMA. They don't ask for a doctor's mm -hmm. notice. And when it comes from Africa, they don't even check. And it's true. It's true. That's true and good information. Can you do the visa in person? Uh, Probably not now because of Corona. But you can do it when you get to Ghana, but it's expensive and you're only going to get a one entry visa for what you could have paid for a five year visa. Right. It's about 500 to ship the car. Okay. Visas are different prices depending on the country, multiple entry, et cetera. Uh -huh. Yep. Yes, you all and us are Ghanaians. We love you. All and are always welcoming to you, our brothers and sisters. And yes, we sir. know this for a yes, fact. Yes, we do. We got many partners. Yes, we do. The sisters and brothers, family members, people we call auntie, yeah. uncle. It's just natural for us to be family again, like we was before. 
it's a, I'm gonna tell you, Jake, what blows my mind is that I grew up in the States. I know, I know my way around like Memphis, Tennessee. I know my way around Los Angeles and Atlanta. You know, I'm trying to think of the other places that I know, just know my way around where I'm going there. But to say that I can land in Ghana and get in an automobile and drive around in Ghana, West Africa, and the land of my ancestors and know my way around, know where I want to go, know where the markets are, man, that is nothing like that. Man, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel, I feel so just for a Ghana even allowing us to be there to come home and telling us to come home. Opening the door for us, so yeah, I love it. Jake Baba said, Sherry, sure, when you are in Ghana, I will teach you to master the Ghana style of drive. Yeah, Jake, and it's and really look, a trick. You gotta to teach it. you about the uh the horn language, Jake. The horn language, Woo, it's the, a whole the thing flashing by lights language. Yep, it's a whole game by itself. Man, I studied for years before I jumped out there in that water. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Uncle Ted had to school me and everything that he was the whole time he was driving, I was watching. Sherry said, Picture, I promise you I won't drive in Ghana. I budget <laughs> for car service now in the States. You don't want me on those streets. <laughs> Sherry, you can get you a driver. You can get for you real. a full driver whenever you're ready to move and go anywhere, buy you a car. And whenever you want to go somewhere, you can hire you a driver to take you anywhere you go, baby, for the low low. I promise you that. Skirt. Hey, love y'all. Miss Alanis, I ain't taking practically nothing from the U.S. Gonna be me and my donkey. <laughs> it needs no gas. Pray I get out of here. Thanks for the Texas visa info. Got that passport on deck. <laughs> hey! Okay. Did I hear a girl's trip? Where's the pickup? I'm looking up flights last night to Las Vegas, <laughs> our Vegas trip is, look, the dates of importance are the 6th through the 9th, but we gonna let y'all know, once I get these tickets, exactly how long we gonna be there so we can set up us at least three days to get together and network and get to know each other in person, cause we already brothers and sisters, cousins, family members, uh, whatever we, whatever relationships we, we are going, we as African people, and we ready to link up. Okay, we are black folks children. I love it. Greetings, and Miss Lanies, thank you for that info. So that means we can show up with that one and get it there. Like we're seeking asylum. <laughs> really, we yeah, are. We are. Shit, for sure. Straight up. You look. I like this. Look, picture. let me tell you how it used to be before Ghana started taking. They started doing this at the year of return visa on arrivals. Yeah. Okay. And at first it was 150 US dollars, but because of the v, the uh, year of return, they slashed the price into 75 dollars for one entry visa. But that 75 dollars. If you put another 25 with it, you can have a five-year visa from uh, unexposed experience and them work in, in Texas at the visa consulate. So take advantage of having that where you can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as many times as you need to. You might get a buddy pass. You might be able to just drop in, drop out. You ain't got to do that visa stuff every time. That saves a lot of headaches. Mm -hmm. LOL, she said, don't think too much. You know me already, LOL, Scorpio. Yep, <laughs> I already know. I already know y'all. Y'all is my people. I, I handle y'all really well because of this man right here, this thinking uh, man. I believe that thinking man, that Africa thinking man, it's just probably power. <laughs> and the rest of y'all, Scorpios, I'm telling you, yes, to the see the movie premiere. Yes, the movie premiere and the living my best life meet and greet uh three-day extravaganza. It's going down. Waiting on our visas now. We are a family of six. I hope we get them in time for the borders to open. Infinite mama of four. Y'all gonna be it. straight. Y'all gonna be right there. SS is gonna work all them little kinks Thank out. Thank you both so much for all the valuable valuable information and inspiration. You are so welcome. This is what you're we're welcome. here for. 
Okay, I'm leaving work. Good night, fam. Auntie, uncle, love y'all. Stay blessed. For sure, huh. show that. Be safe. Get All home. All right, we'll see you later. We're going to get out of here. You can extend your visa. Once in Ghana, it is offered to me at the airport unexpected. Yep, get it at the airport. Don't when you get your visa get no extension, make sure you go to the airport. When you first get to Ghana, you get a 30-day or a 60-day ex uh time to uh be in ghana right when that time laps before it laps go to the airport and go to the immigration office and get your extension done it should be about 50 ghana cities yes if you come in contact with anybody else talking about more than that they trying to get you because we already got gat gat like so now we know stung. we already took that hit for you and she said, I'm getting a driver, a.k.a. husband. <laughs> <laughs> we need to engage the right of a bow. We have a child with special needs. We need to make the process as streamlined as possible. That's right. Future driver is an absolute must. <laughs> yes, it is. I sure said that. Malika like Muhammad, that. California is the pickup. Oh, <laughs> yes, Power and Future, you are back home to us. Your fam and you made the great decision to return home to us Aquaba permanently. Permanent Aquaba to you all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you get me cup, get me cup. <laughs> I can't wait to meet everyone in person. All y'all crazy. <laughs> say. I'm definitely going for the five year visa. I'm telling yes. you, the best thing popping. The Ghana consulate in Houston has a 72 hour turnaround. You can get same day service if you apply in person. Ain't that something? Man, I need to, I now, need to, like, I thought that uh, Unexposed Experience said that they was uh, behind somewhat because of the corona. So make sure y'all right, check with say her that. to say, because I remember her saying that they bagged up because of corona. So it's best to pay for the uh, expedient to get it expedited so that you can get it fast and that's how i've always did it because i always had wait i always had something happen where i had to wait till the last minute to receive it and live my best life can you please keep us posted how to buy the tickets to the movie premiere i sure sure will i sure will yeah, i want to know how much it costs to build a wall around my land depending you um uh, Blocks when you're doing a building a wall, they're gonna use those cinder blocks, T Roy. You know, the little we used to play with them jumps. We make ramps out of them when we was younger, but those blocks they pay by the block. So I think the average probably about what a thousand blocks, maybe just depending on the diameter of your land, too. Would yeah. just be your idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A thousand blocks, and they normally like what per block three, three gun cedars. No, it was I thought they were cheaper. I thought it was like a cedar block or two cedars a block. That ain't that much cheaper, baby. No, Probably no. two or three seaters a block. In future, my husband also a Scorpio had a small statue of that damn thinking man. <laughs> 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 yep, they attracted to them. We got plenty of them around here. So, yes, y'all, it's been a ball. It's been a ball. One love, right, man? So Everybody right. in the house. Can someone explain to me why? Most of all African countries put so much stipulation on black people entering the different countries on the continent. It's a part of the process, and it's not going to be like that forever. Because yeah, most of those processes was, was created by Europeans, Europeans anyway. And we have to break uh -huh. them chains of the mental slavery that all of us have. So be patient with our, with our people. Yeah, it's a, it's up. more than one way to skin a cat, and we're going to figure it out together. So don't worry. We're going to get past this. We're going to keep positive energy in the ethers, in the atmosphere, in the universe for things to break open. We had some beautiful news today. The UN. Oh, yeah. That was so beautiful. The UN um, called for an emergency meeting or what something. What happened was George, I mean, about to cut you off. George right. Floyd's family, they made a petition to the UN along with all the other supporters. They sent a petition to the UN. <clears throat> and for uh, about uh, police violence to be heard and the grievances against the U.S. So in order for that to be heard on the floor of the United Nations, they had to have one country to back them up, just one nation to back them up. 
So what happened was all fifty four African countries, countries signed, signed the, the petition, declaration. The declaration. Up. Yes. So now at the forty first, ne the, the next uh, is installation. Uh, next meeting of the United Nations will be the forty first assembly. That's the topic of discussion. Is us in the diaspora and getting popped and killed over here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Unheard of. This is history, y'all. We are live right now. It's history is in the making. So something this big is happening. Just imagine all these little small little stipulations and stuff. All of this finna be broke through. We just got to stay positive and stay focused because everything is panning out. This is the phenomenal that's going on with Africa, with Africa's people, its children. Everybody is waking up all over the world, and we soon come. Okay, we yep. soon come. Keisha said, my husband is a Sagittarius, but has a Scorpio rising. This makes him intense and strategic as well. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a good one. That's a real good For one. Real. Yes. Great conversation, family. Y'all live. Y'all lives be lit. Please share, like, and comment, family. Thank you so much. We need y'all to make sure that we add many people every day to get them a part of this movement, something that's authentic and genuine, people that really love our people, that we don't want our people to be depressed and down. We want to lift our spirits, give us something to look forward to, and that's going home to the land of our ancestors. That's where we need to be. We breaking through. Keisha said, my mom, my sage mom will always say, it's more than one way to skin a cat. I love, I live by those words. And I'm a Sagittarius too. So <laughs> that's, that's right on point. Reparations. Africa on some real live guns. What's this? Gangster. Gangster. Shites. <laughs> I wish I could hug Africa right the fuck? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Troy. Okay, I'm telling you, we right in the Mabel. Oh, say, hey, it's been a while. How you doing, Mabel? Yes, the African unity is for real on the table. The ancestors have been activated in full force now. That's the same thing that I say. I call this hypocrisy. Tell us to come home, repatriate, then asking us to obtain a visa for what? Shouldn't we? be given free access to land it would be ideal it, <laughs> yes it would be ideal but we gonna work all those kinks out that'll be we five, got a that'll lot of work children, to do that'll be five children to come through to get that get that free accessibility to the land yeah so we got a we lot right of work now, to do we just making breakthroughs right, we got to understand with the time that we in and the situation is being liberated right now, right before our very eyes. So yes. we got to look. Pay. Yeah, they got that little bull crap in play. Okay, that's what y'all want. Yeah, it's money. not gonna last that's long. For the, that's for the appeasing of the government. Mm -hmm. But when we talking about the people, the people in the government is two different things. So when yes. we talking to Africa, we speak to the spirit of Africa. We talking about the spirit of the people our there. Ancestors. We know about that bullshit we got to deal with when it comes mm -hmm. to the government. That's that's how it is right now. But we living through that. We seeing it effects time right now. Constantly. Yeah, so we we, we popping. We we, yes. we all the way pushing on that Rock K said positive news. Getting a visa ain't stopping nothing. Not a time. Not mm -hmm. a time. Do you seriously expect to undo laws overnight? By the way, not all countries require visas. Right. True that. So if you got some place, if you really want to go and you don't like what Ghana is doing, go to another country. Go to the Gambia. Yeah. Go to, you know, Togo, Benin. Go anywhere. Anywhere that don't, you don't have to have a visa because it's true. All countries don't have where you have to have visas to come. Jake Baba said, our great wish is for you to come home and live well in peace and rest from all your weariness at the hands of people who just do not like us in America. No matter what we do and how best we achieve. Mm -hmm. It's true. So right. Gemini, all countries. Wow. Oh. Yes, the Africa government needs to come through and come get us. They started. They didn't crunk the car. I'm not Mrs. Lane. The car crunk. You know, I'm like, yeah. you say to y'all, well, huh? <laughs> We on the way. Blam. Sierra Leone is offering land if your DNA comes back being that your ancestors were from Sierra Leone. That's true. In Nigeria and some old countries are doing that. We got our African ancestry done. It came back from to Cameroon. So we planning to go to Cameroon and get our 
get our citizenship. And it's true. And I got one hundred percent match patriarchal confirmations of being Nigerian one hundred percent. And I'm proud of it. And I'm going to get my I'm going to get my thing thing. So Raymond, to. yeah, be sure you uh you invest in getting your African ancestry done too. It's a great idea, it's another piece to the puzzle, or it's a whole filler for us and everything that we've been through. We are doing, you know, putting all the puzzle pieces in place. Keisha said our blacks and brothers and sisters in the gamma are fighting to get automatic citizenship. We have to pick our battles at this point that's right that's right we got different people that's already working for us uh -huh. so don't worry and don't fret and don't get you know discouraged or confused or whatever it's all a matter of time we are working together bioko allen don't need a visa future my booby can folks oh Woo! we gotta go yeah, so we're gonna meet you at the island. Then so we're gonna get on some go up north. Senegal, no visas. That's how I entered. And when you're on the ground, you can go to many places. See, that's what I'm this talking is about. the information that we need to know. Keisha said, I don't support automatic citizenship at all. People have to be vetted. I'm cool with five years. That's that's a sheriff's opinion. Me, myself, I got my, I got my uh certificate. I'm looking forward to somebody saying, yep, we want you right here. I'm looking forward to it. My DNA is Nigeria as well. Black power said, hey. Go right, right on. That's the sister. I'm in the fight family. I got to change. It's got to change. change. All this is because of ignorance of African leaders. We're going to have to enlighten them. That's right. They man. Are That's already why we're doing it right now. Yep. It's happening right now because they looking at the pressure coming from the internet, from people communicating, yeah, seeing these videos and things like that, so they can really do it. They can see it now instead of hearing it. So now it becomes observation and participation, and they're not gonna be left behind. So it's just it's like the bike starting to go downhill now. All we gotta do is hold on to the handlebars and get down the damn hill. We on the way. All right, y'all. <laughs> it's been a ball, but that's how we are sleepy. And we're going to get us some rest so we can be up bright and early in the morning. Hopefully things will go well. We can have us a day uh, live tomorrow. Look at Pal. We love y'all. Peace. <laughs>